A big scare inside Ross Park Mall when a fight led to shots being fired. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ryan Houston. We heard from several witnesses about how busy the mall was at the time because of the holiday weekend. Well, take a look at this. Channel 11 got exclusive video from Drone 11 showing multiple police officers running through the mall's parking lot and police cars chasing a vehicle in the area before stopping in a field nearby. We're told they were investigating another report of shots fired, but they did not find anything. They say it's not clear if the report was related to the mall shooting. You know, we've been following this story since the first call came in around 430. Since then, at Channel 11's Michelle Chavez got new information from police, including who was involved in the fight. Michelle. That's right. As we learn new information with how this all played out, police tell us there are still several unanswered questions. They say right now there are two 17 year olds here in custody at the police station, but there could be as many as six people involved in today's shooting. We're guessing that there was probably one of three shots fired, although we're still looking for um, uh, evidence to support that. Police from several neighboring communities and the SWAT team swarmed Ross Park Mall after reports of shots fired. Police saying even several hours after the shooting, they still don't have many answers because of the lack of video evidence. We don't have any surveillance video from the mall to show you of the altercation. Unfortunately, despite numerous attempts by our department to uh, convince Simon Properties to put cameras in the mall, they have continually refused to do that. Right now, they say they're trying to work with the videos they do have access to. It's on the anchor stores, the larger stores have good cameras, including exterior cameras, and some of the a handful of the stores in the mall themselves have interior cameras. They're also hoping cell phone video may help show what happened. Police are telling us they recovered three guns from two juvenile suspects, but there could be as many as six people involved. This store manager was there when the fight happened on the second floor. I was towards the like back of the store and I had a, a sales associate in front greeting and we saw a lot of scuffle happen. So like kids fighting in front of the store and they all had guns on them and security came running towards them and yelled gun. So once we heard gun, my sales associate, she saw it and she started running towards the back of the store and she walked to me that there was a gun. Somebody had a gun. Police tell us they believe this happened near guest services and over the next few hours, they work to get everyone out safely. The evacuation went smooth. Luckily, we have uh, we have a number. We've done a number of drills here and we have good cooperation with Ross Park Mall that, that helped us to facilitate that. And police tell us that no one was hurt from the gunfire or from the evacuation as it stands right now. Ross Park Police will be taking the lead in this investigation moving forward. In Ross Township, Michelle Chavez, Channel 11 News. Great job tonight, Michelle. Thank you. So as we said, stores were locked down and shoppers were hiding in closets for safety. As several Channel 11 viewers sent us video of what took place inside. Gunshots in Ross Park Mall sent people running for cover. Boom, 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 boom. Literally, everybody started running in the north zone. We start running, my husband grabbed me, takes me down the escalator so we're not on the same level as the shooter. Several Channel 11 viewers recorded video. Here you can see officers dressed in full SWAT gear, carrying high-powered weapons, walking these scared customers out of Ross Park Mall. It also shows officers looking for the gunmen before letting customers out the store. In this video, you can see police with their guns drawn walking around. It also shows a canine officer in the mall helping them in their search for who fired the shots. And last but not least, this video shows shoppers with their hands up walking out of the mall. We did see a lot of kids that were shaken up. Curtis Nugent and his wife were inside the mall. He tells Channel 11 about the fight on the second floor that he saw happen. It was a fist fight. I saw someone on the ground. Someone was getting punched on the ground and there was another little one off to the side. So it was a group of maybe four fighting. Nugent says someone yelled gun and that's when he and his wife ran out the emergency exit by the food court. And as you can imagine, this was very scary for parents who were out shopping with their kids. A Channel 11 news anchor Gordon Lesh was inside with his daughter. We went into the back room and they actually barricaded the doors, very heavy door. Stayed back there. We were probably back there for about an hour. Um, they were working to try to get information. Obviously, it took a little bit of time for that to happen. Certainly a lot of panic. And our morning meteorologist Jessica Faith was also inside with her husband when everything happened.
because it was very packed and I saw you know, older people and people with their families and even babies and children. When I heard the, the shot, I heard the pop, but in a busy mall, I didn't think that it was a shot until I heard what sounded like drums, feet, uh, like a wall of people coming my way.